we just missed them. And sometimes that's how it goes. First playoff game, you know, they're good defense. Uh, we got quality looks, um, but we'll settle into the series, continue to look at the film, go back and see how we can generate even, even more uh, quality shots for ourselves. I don't like that answer. We just missed him. No doubt. You had some open look, looks that you missed. But these are a couple of teams that averaged 115 points a game during the regular season. And game one between the Thunder and the Pels finished 94-92. You went to the quarter break after one, tied at 17. You didn't just miss shots. The defensive intensity from both teams was ratcheted up. And by and large, in particular, the last three minutes, your half-court sets are really bad. Um, Brandon Ingram going 5 of 17, 12 points. I mean, my goodness. A lot of people crapping on C.J. McCollum today. He was 9 of 22. As a team, you shot 38% from the floor and 28% from three. I think a big hat tip goes to Oklahoma City. They're really good defensively, but so were you. And so often, I use the phrase winning mass deficiencies. When you win, you forget about things that went poorly because you you won the game. And so you're going to celebrate the win and, and forget the things that, that went bad, and you're going to highlight and accentuate the good. But the opposite is true also. When, when you lose you tend to accentuate all the things that went bad instead of focusing on the things that, that did go well. Like the fact that you went on the road without Zion Williamson and you had to look at a three to win the game and McCullough missed it. You had a possession there in the closing minute where you got three offensive rebounds and you couldn't make a shot. Like, there were things that went well. Jonas Valanciunas played bully ball with Chet Holmgren all night long. Jonas had, tw- like, oh, excuse me, that's the uh, the Travis Kelsey look like Vashalunas, excuse me. Look alike in Vashalunas. <laughs> Get it again with the full. The Travis Kelsey look alike in Vashalunas. <laughs> that idiot. I'm never gonna get over that. I'm gonna listen to that forever. <laughs> Freaking mad. Hit it again. The Travis Kelsey look alike in Vashalunas. <laughs> like, how can you purport to be an expert? Like, how can you be so brash as to sit there on first take? And like grabbing the mic, and you're like telling the world you're a basketball expert, and you can't even pronounce Jonas Valanciunas' name. The Travis Kelsey lookalike in Vashalunas. Like so, cat. Like I'm just gonna roll through. Nobody's gonna notice. I'm just gonna roll through this. No one's gonna notice. I'm totally mispronouncing his name. I kind of admire that part of it, where it's I just don't. like, ah, let's just roll. Let's go with it. I would admire it so much more if you said, "Hey, the guy from Eastern Europe. How do you pronounce his name?" You're the big, or just go with Jonas. Yeah, that's true. You could, or JV. Yeah, well, he would never go JV. Eh. Or just say the big guy. Say the Travis Kelsey lookalike. The Travis Kelsey lookalike in Vashalunas. Vashalunas. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Like, that makes the loss it's thing so less. Good. Being able to play that makes the loss. The fact that Jonas went out and had 13 points and 20 rebounds. When they called the early foul on him for hooking uh, Chet with the elbow, I was like, oh, this is going to be a long night. But credit Jonas, man. He didn't give in. Played bully ball with that dude all night long. Um, but but listen, I also understand the criticism. And you're not wrong. Like, all the criticisms I've heard today, like the fi- the offense in the final three minutes, as a matter of fact, Willie Green was asked about that. He said, "Would uh, it would just listen. Really done differently if you had those last closing seconds, minutes to do again? Nope. I'd like to... The quality we had quality shots coming down the stretch that we we just didn't make and um, came down to the final play and our go- our guys fought fought all night defense was solid game plan was executed at a high level you know we we got to knock down some shots. I just don't love that answer, man. And I think Willie Green's been really good for New Orleans. I mean, c- consider look look y'all. I mean, you went. From having Stan Van Gundy and Alvin Gentry. Remember, like, sometimes, like, remember where you were makes it easier to get along with where you are. 
I mean, we literally, we, on this show, we put a moratorium on Alvin Gentry. Do you remember that? Were you working here, Muse, when we did that? We put a moratorium. Yep, for a little bit of it. On it Gentry. It's like he never said a single worthwhile thing. I said, I will never want to hear Alvin Gentry, his voice on the show again. So like, my point is, like, you're frustrated with the offense, and particularly in the last three minutes. I don't blame you. It was a wreck. You want to talk about the inability to create offense around Trey Murphy? Like, there, one of the national shows today, and now I'm flying off the cuff, and forgive me because I would love to, to attribute it, but it was one of the national shows today that was talking about Trey Murphy. And they said, it was this, this is what it was. It was Zach Lowe. It was on the low post. Zach Lowe said... There is no world where Trey Murphy, and shout out, um, at Pell's Film Room tweeted this. I, I didn't see it initially, but he said, actually, can we play? Uh, of course, I'm trying to do this off the cuff. My apologies. I think we can play this. Hang on. This is this was the low post pod. I'm trying to get the audio up. He's talking about, about Trey Murphy. Here, here you go. Play it, Muse. Hit it. I found it. I'm pro whatever physicality is now being allowed all of a sudden in the last three months of the season. I found this game like absolutely riveting, a really good test for the Thunder in their first game, a really good test for SGA too, who had a hard time with Herb Jones as everybody does. Um, and they responded and they found a way, not a gut punch for the Pelicans. I don't think this is like, okay, now what well, they needed that one, they had to steal that one. I think this could be a competitive series. I picked the Thunder in five. I don't know what your your pick was, but I don't feel any better or worse about that after game one. I would have felt terrible about it had the Pelicans snuck it out, and they almost did. I had Thunder in five in my drafts going into the playing games on Friday night because... Uh, Forgive me, I'm playing you know, this off the cuff. That's fine. You can take it down. I don't want that whole thing. Anyway, let's, so let me just read the quote. I don't want to get bogged bog down in their predictions. It must be later in, but... Zach Lowe said there's no world where Trey Murphy and Herb Jones aren't starting on the wing next year. Oh, and it was up, it was up Pelton who said, uh, Kevin Pelton, who said, if we were ranking their players, Trey Murphy is no lower than third. He's in the top three and might not be third. So he's basically saying Trey Murphy is right there at B, I, and Z and might be better than one of them, which everyone wants to put it. So yeah, I mean, Trey Murphy is we've we've clamored for pure three-point shooting from this team forever, you have one in Trey Murphy and you don't get him the ball. Like you don't create offense around him. It's I so I get it. Like Trey was five of twelve last night from three, eight of eighteen from the floor. He had 21 points. I'm with you, man. Like, I would love to see more creativity offensively. I thought in the first half, some of their their off ball movement and their quick passes were magnificent to watch. And it did create open looks. And sometimes they did flat miss. But that's gonna happen in a game. You know, when you put up 96 shots, but you got to be better than a 38% clip. And I don't think it's just as much as just missing. I'll tell you, there's two sides of it. You could look at it and say, yeah, you were that close to stealing a game on the road and it got away. Is that the gut punch? All that sort of stuff. The flip side of it is, you know, you can play with this team. I mean, they're, yes, they're the one seed and they had a great season, but only eight games separated you in Oklahoma City. Eight games separated you in the one seed. So, Look, I'd feel much better about this series, obviously, if Zion was out there. He's not. You get a couple of days off where you play on Wednesday, then you come back to New Orleans, you have a back-to-back -back Saturday, Sunday. So we'll see You know if they can go steal one in Oklahoma City. I mean, look, if you're going to win the series, you're going to have to win one on the road anyway. You, you had a chance last night. You didn't get it. You know, Dust yourself off, come back, adjust, try to get, uh, get uh, game two on Wednesday. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.